Hello friends, welcome back to our session. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more interesting tool in Kali Linux that is a burp suit. See, this burp suit is used for a penetration testing like uh, web applications, right? In order to test the web applications, we'll use this burp suit. So many of the ethical hackers will use this burp suit as a testing of web applications. And this burp suit operates as a web proxy between the browser and the target application. So that means if you consider any web application, obviously will interact with the web through the browser itself. right? And this burp suit will act as a mediator in between the browser and the server. So that we call it as a proxy, right? It will be acting as a proxy server. So burp suit comes installed by default on Kali Linux. So you need not install this burp suit externally in the Kali Linux. So once you install this Kali Linux automatically, this burp suit will be available. So I'll show you that one. So this burp suit will act as a proxy in between a client and server. So obviously coming to the web application, the client will send a request and the server give a response. So for this one, for understanding this burp suit, I will give an, a simple example. So I'm having my system and I will open the browser and I will use, see, I'll open a browser and I'm going with the youtube.com slash C slash Sandeep Saradi. This is the URL of our YouTube channel. So obviously the, sorry. So I think it's a small C and Sandeep Saradi. Yes. So this is our uh, YouTube channel. Oh, sorry. So this is our YouTube channel. So this was the page requested from our system. So the client and the server, that means whatever the server maintained in the YouTube, uh, that server, from that server, this particular play page will be loaded into our browser, right? So br br through browser, we are interacting with the server. So what is the request here? We are requesting some web page. And what is the response from the server? From the server, we are getting the page of our YouTube channel, right? For example, if you go with the flipkart.com or amazon.com or any other websites, right? So the URL which we are giving in the browser is a client request. So it will move on to the server and from that server, we are getting the uh, home page, right? So loading the home page is a response from the server. So in between this client and server, this burp suit will be acting as a proxy. So whatever the packets sending from client to server, that will be redirected through the burp suit. Okay. So through the burp suit, the packets will be moved to move from client to server. So in order to check this one, so let us take this YouTube example. So first we need to configure the burp suit to a browser. Okay, in the browser settings, we have to configure the burp suit. So for that, you need an IP address as well as a port number. Okay, so usually all the web applications will be having the port number 8080. And coming to the IP address, we need to give the unique IP address which was not in use. Obviously, there, there is a loopback IP address where the hackers will use is a 127.0.1. And we'll use the same IP address and we need to download the certificate, CA certificates, right? Certificate authority that will be coming from certificate authority that will authenticate the particular tool to the browser. So unless you authenticate the tool to a browser, the pages will not be redirected. So for that one, we are having an option called intercept in the burp suit tool. So we need to make uh, that verb suit, I mean that intercept on and off. So if the intercept is on, the tool is in a working state. And if, if the intercept is off, the tool is will be in a not working state. So now let us see the understanding of uh, verb suit, working of verb suit, verb suit, right? See, first, first we need to 
configure the browser to the burp suit right see and before understanding so one thing i just want to say whatever the concepts we are uh, uh, discussing in our channel so that we, that is completely for the education purpose please don't apply these things for your personal revenges okay just for an education purpose so let us understand about the burp suit first we need to configure this burp suit to the browser so let us move on to the kali linux so i log into the kali linux now go to the applications so on the left top you will be finding the applications click on that one so in the search you can find out the burp suit type b u r p so you'll getting the tool burp suit so click on this one so the tool will be opened here see the tool is opened click on okay yes here uh, you can give the project name uh, and all these things otherwise simply go with the temporary project and click on next and uh, start start the burp so automatically the tool will be opened see here the tool is open and here you can see the tabs dashboard target proxy intruder repeater sequence decoder compare logger extender etc etc so in that go to the proxy and here you can find the intercept off and on so here we need to bypass the packets coming from client to server and server to client so intercept is off that means the tool is in off state now the tool is not in a working state so in order to make this tool working first we need to configure the burp suit to the browser so go to the browser i'll go with the browser i'll open the browser and uh, open the settings here you will be finding the settings see find the settings and open the network settings so just type network settings so you can go with the network settings so here use a system proxy settings by default it will be selected so go with the manual proxy configuration and here give the ip address the loopback ip address 127.0.0.1 and as these are the web applications give the port number 8080 8080 and uh, check this one also use this proxies for uh, https so this is a http proxy and a secure protocol right https is a secure protocol so also use the same ip for the https and just click on okay so now open the burp so https or http colon type burp enter so you can find the ca certificate of this particular burp suit ca certificate on the rightmost top corner ca certificate right so this is a certificate we given by the certificate authority to authenticate this tool so now we have to configure this certificate into the browser so that the browser will configure i mean this burp suit tool will be authenticated by the browser then only the bypass will be accepted so click on ca certificate here so save that one save so once it was done just close the browser and again uh, in the settings now use a view certificates go with a view so here you will be finding the view certificates click on the view certificate so here you will be having all the different certificates okay for the trusted so go to the import and then select the certificate which was downloaded just now so this this is a certificate cacert.der and open so yes already i have done this certificate authority i have installed the certificate authority so that's why i got this message that this certificate is already installed as a certificate authority so if so once you you done that so you'll be getting the two check boxes regarding the trust trusting the tools so you need to select the two check boxes which will trust the tool right so once you done that automatically the configuration is done Configure, configuration is completed so i have completed that one so that that's why i got the message already installed the certificate is already installed 
So if you are doing the first time, you will be getting the two check boxes uh, with a trusty. So you need to check both the text boxes and click OK. So once it was done, automatically the configured, the burp suit is configured to your website and the certificate is also given to the burp suit. Now, see, just uh, in order to understand the, the browser and this one, I'll give the this browser and the burp suit as a two parts so that you'll be understanding what's working. So usually it was off, right? Intercept is off. So as we have discussed, if the intercept is off, uh, what means the tool is not working state. The tool is not in working state. That means obviously if you send the link, see, I'll go with the, yes. So I'm opening a video. Yeah, we'll go this with this one because that is uh, uh, explained in a PPT. So you'll not be understanding that one. So we'll go with this one. Yes. So now the YouTube, I'm playing a video in the YouTube of ours. See, the video is being Played, right a normal flow so so this is a browser so it was already uh, sending uh, packets to the server and uh, the server is sending the response to the client so that the video is playing here now i will just turn on this intercept i will turn on the intercept now what happens so this burp suit will be acting as a mediator in between the browser and the target application so that the whatever the packets sending from client to server will be sent through this burp suit. See, once it was done, you can observe. Just a second. So already uh, the thing was buffered, right? See, now what you observe, so it was in a buffering state because, so till now the packets was received, but whenever we have opened this intercept on, the packets were not sent, right? So here it was interrupted. Now the packets are at the burp suit tool. So if you click on this forward, then only the packets will be sent to the server part by part and see once again so a lot of time is uh, completed but still it was in buffering so whenever i turn off this intercept so you can observe again the video will be start playing and again if you turn on the intercept again see automatically within that per fraction of seconds uh, it was buffered so uh, up up to this part the video will be played and after this part the will, video will not be played you can observe here see a small bit you can observe here yes all the buffered has been done now still again buffering that means the packets were not receiving okay so again if I turn off the intercept, again, it will start buffering, see. So hope you understood this one, the working of burp suit tool. So the working means, so the burp suit will be acting as a proxy between the browser and the server, right? So here I am giving the complete information, how we have to, uh, configure the burp suit tool to the browser right so open the browser click on more options select the settings type the network settings change the settings to the manual proxy configuration http proxy give the uh, uh, loopback ip and a port number select the checkbox and click on ok and open a new tab 
and download the CA certificate and configure the certificate to the browser and now just open the Burpsuit tool, go to the proxy tab, turn off the intercept off and open the browser, play the video in YouTube. So there will be no buffering, automatically it will play continuously. Now uh, turn on the intercept in the proxy tab, observe the video on the YouTube, the video will not be played until you turn off the intercept, right? So th that's why we call this burp suit as a penetration testing tool for a web applications, right? So hope you understood this uh, burp suit tool. And uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one, uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And once again, I'm saying, so use this uh, for the education purpose only. So don't make use this for a, your personal revenges, right? Yes. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.